Bros Play. Hey, welcome back. Um, my name is Mitch. I need your professional opinion on something. Yeah. So, do you think it's probably Gascoin or Gascoin? Those are your options. Which, which one do you think? Gascoin, probably. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. I feel like this is pretty. I forgot my joke again. I had, what I had joke? a great opener. I forgot it. Totally forgot it. Yeah, that's that. That's that fight, flight, freeze thing. Oh yeah. Like there's always. Oh. <laughs> I never forget about freeze. Is it? Is there really free? I guess freeze is an option. Yeah. And Joe Rogan added that one. It's good. He's actually. like, I never understood why it was just fight or flight. Yeah, I guess it's because it's because uh, freeze is not an instinct. I don't know. I mean, freeze is totally an instinct. That's what bunny rabbits do up until a point. That's what deer do. Deer do? That's what yeah. a deer does? That's what it is. Sometimes what it, a deer does what a deer gotta do. No. What, that's what a deer does, dude. A deer does, dude. Um, I do. That a, sounds like a porno. I do. <laughs> <laughs> deer does, dude. Deer does, dude. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me show you a fucking advanced, advanced ass trick. This is for people. Who, I mean, it's advanced for people who intend on failing. <laughs> you just gonna go jumping? No. Oh, it's an actual elevator. No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a right proper elevator is what it is, brother. We got us a right proper elevator here, folks. So the worst accent of a carnival guy I've ever tried to do. How did it go? I'm not doing it again. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so I had to pull the lever up there because this was down here. So you send it back up. Oh. That way, on my way back, I'm just, it's already going to be up here. That's smart. Yeah, thank That's you. That's real smart. It took me like 50 hours in the original Dark Souls to realize how smart that is. Can you just like... Oh, but wow. if you leave the stairs, it won't kill them all. You gotta stay in the line. Yeah, I gotta stay here, yeah. Yeah. I can kind of see They all it. slow down because all of them know they're gonna be... <laughs> <laughs> I love scenes like that in a game where there's some sort of environmental way to take out all of the enemies. I think it got some of the rats. I mean, it was a giant flaming ball of uh, something. The an interesting uh, combination of comedy and action is Goldeneye, man. the the old uh, The old James Bond movies are are fucking hilarious. That's the one with like, Boris in it, right? Yes, I am invincible. Boris is, yeah, Boris is one of my favorite characters in any of the James Bond movies. They're right in front of you, and they're used to open big doors. <laughs> I think my second favorite character after that is his like army buddy that always hooks him up with stuff, like in um, Tomorrow Never Dies. He's like, uh, he didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, <laughs> him and Boris. I remember that. Yeah, my favorite characters. And think about. Oh my god, I yeah, love just... I love clandestine humor because it's it's always Ooh. just like so dry. Here's your word of the day. What does clandestine mean? It means like covert and shit. Oh, covert and shit. Yeah. Fucking covert. Don't forget what what is it? What is it? Nothing but madness. Nothing but madness. Yeah. All right. Drying the hands. Drying the hands. That that must sound good on the readout. People either bring madness or find madness here. Nothing but sweat here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, hang on to that remote. Don't you let go of that remote. Traverse the nightmare fog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, doing well so far. No, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never yeah, mind. no, we're behind the eight ball. I shouldn't have even said that. Uh, you got to get your souls, too. Oh, fuck. It's right. It would be a pretty Woo! smart idea. Woo! All right, hearts be beating a mile a minute. That's fine. That's an appropriate amount of time to. Uh, 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 that's, a, that's an appropriate rate to be moving at. Yeah, it's only up 20, 30. Here we go. Ah, ah! Why won't you die? Why won't you visceral? You fucking animal! Well, apparently it doesn't do well with gravestones either. Yeah, I'm surprised you can't get that. I think visceral I have to be out. closer. Probably. A real problem this game has is uh, frame rate slowdown, but it interestingly enough has some sort of like weirdly developed uh, mechanic where it figures out where the frame rate has to be and then keeps it consistent even though it's low. It's very strange. Okay, I mean consistency is better than nothing, but yeah, well, way is... better than nothing. Yeah, I think I just realized what he did. What he do? Uh, I'm gonna have to keep watching to check but i'm pretty sure he took his gun and attached it to the end 
of his axe. There is a gun spear in this game. Jesus. Maybe not. Annoying. Maybe he put it away. But he it was have. so funny. He just like had this pole extension to add on his axe. I'm like, who the fuck carries that in their duster? <laughs> like in case I need it. Why wouldn't you just put it on? Fucking Jesus with your 135 degree swings over here. Yeah, he's we don't got need a, you. He's got a mad arc and a nasty spin. The mad arc. Yeah. That sounds like a really cool villain. The mad arc. The mad arc, yeah. Here we go. Here's the second stage. Whoa! Is it second or is that third? I would consider it the second, but it might it might have been like a there might have been like a stage we were unaware of that he was in because it wasn't as obvious as this. Well, yeah, I he really put on... don't like how he can do like almost all my fucking health. Holy fucking goddamn garbage piece yeah. of shit. He's so fast. So this entire series has a serious problem where the game remembers the buttons you press even if it's not when you pressed it. No. So if you rapidly tap B, it will jump three motherfucking times. It's the dumbest fucking thing. Yeah, no, that's pretty silly. It has to be all real time. This is real rage. This is what rage sounds for Mitch. It's pretty fucking calm. <laughs> rage cage. Rage in the cage with Nicolas Cage. So we discovered, Dad and I discovered a very interesting thing about Ontarians. We, we, yeah, we make jokes all the time on the show about nice Canadians. And uh, we went to get some egg crates to soundproof this place. And... We went to an egg farm, and they have the fucking honor system for buying eggs. I went the wrong way again. I can't believe they have the honor system anywhere. Yeah. There's just a room with a camera. It says, put your money here, and there's just fridges with eggs. <laughs> I think this is part of it, though. Imagine if somebody, like, like a cop shows up at your door, and they're like, the egg farm has a video of you <laughs> stealing <laughs> eggs. Like, you would be so unbelievably embarrassed. Like, that that's almost as bad as being called out as, like, some sort of, like, murderer or, like, you assaulted oh, somebody. Egg like egg stealers. Yeah. Egg thief? Everyone's like, who the fuck is this clown? Like, what? Like, why do I know this person who's an egg thief? Yeah. Yeah, that's a very good point. Fuck. Can they hit Where, no, is, it? Where is it? Oh, no! There it is. Hey, jeez. Oh! Hey, buddy. Oh! <laughs> hey, buddy. And there's the big ball of death. And I'm, I'm about to run into the pig. Yeah, it would be nice if enemies could actually hurt each other. That would be hilarious. There might be enemies that I'm not remembering that hurt each other. I don't think so. I mean, it seems like it would almost be too easy, though. Because they don't really... They're not really aware of each other. Oh, no. They're fucking violent. Straight up belligerent. As I a... love the way they carry themselves. Like, they feel... Yeah, belligerent's a good word. They feel like violent thugs. They don't feel like uh, fantasy characters. Exactly what does belligerent mean? Belligerent means, like, violent and angry. Oh, okay. But I, I like to broaden the definition of belligerent to be, like, more, like, obnoxious mixed with violent... Okay. So, like, some belligerent behavior will be, like, if you just piss in public. Like, it's not violent, but it's very belligerent. Okay. Like, belligerent essentially is drunk behavior. Like, when you're excessively drunk that you're not realizing people around you are, like, upset. Yeah. That's belligerent. You know, I'm fucking upset right now. <laughs> yeah, that guy has a lot of health. I'm not surprised. Like... Oh... I love how characters react to getting hit in this because they're staggered, but not that much. Not like a significant amount. They seem more angry than anything. Yeah, exactly. Like you just whacked him on the noggin and he didn't have any problems. This one guy just has no noggin. I don't even think he has a face. Yeah, he has a burlap sack of a face. You don't want it here. I've got no face. We don't want your burlaps here. I just, uh, I just read this morning, um, that uh, the Seinfeld episode where they all they're all in the honor system. That's funny. That's not was that was not my intention. Yeah. The, but uh, <laughs> the they all agree to not masturbate. Oh yeah. But the word masturbate isn't said once in the whole episode. It, yeah, and apparently it got an award for achievement in writing because writing. Of that, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's actually... It seems like when you watch it, you're like, oh, yeah, it's so simple. They just, you know, didn't mention it. But imagine writing, like, a 21-minute script without, you know, intentionally using that word. Yeah, it'd be very hard. And, I mean, they did it in fantastic style. I remember it being a really good episode. I thought you were going to say, did it in fantastic four. And I'm like, you, how dare you? Even tell the talk about a, that movie in a positive. You mean fan four stick? Uh, either one of them, actually. It's one of my favorite fan versions of a title. Oh yeah. I mean, you it's asked for it. Such a great agreed upon name, and it just sounds so good because it's also like sounds like shit. Like fan four stick sounds like a name of a there we go. Netflix B movie. Fuck you. Nice. That was a significant portion. Three six four. Damn, you're a score. Gonna put you in the hospital. That's so funny that you say that. Today, uh, like these guys have to call out three numbers to me, so it'll be like two two three or whatever. Yeah. And one time he's like three six nine, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, and I write it down, and I'm like, damn, you're fine. And then the guy's there, he's like, that's a song, isn't it? And I'm yeah. like, that damn sure is a song. Have you ever heard the, the acoustic? Yeah, the acoustic yeah. version. That's such a Damn great. <laughs> I love that he does it in a coffee shop too. Suck it, suck it, suck it to me, baby. Because <laughs> everyone's like really into it at first because it has like a great beat and a great riff, and then uh, and then all of a sudden like the moms and daughters not big fans. Yeah, the guy's loving it though. All right, so this urn makes Molotovs burn hotter or faster or something. Hopefully it works on the boss. Hotter and faster. Oh, it did. Uh, all right, all right, all right. This is what you wanted. Whoa, whoa. Oh my God, it's like he does more damage the closer he gets to death. No! Oh, oh. <sighs> did it. If you can believe it, that's the second boss. <laughs> Holy man. I am, I am 22 hours into the game on my other playthrough. Uh, and I don't I'm think I might be a third of the way through. He didn't drop anything other than that one. What did he give you? He gave me a, I think he gave me a Kirill or a, like a like he gave me a, a, a Kirill rune. No, he dropped something. He dropped a key. Uh, oh, he dropped the Odin tomb key tomb to the gate that blocks the tomb of Odin. And I hope he gave you a ton of souls, too. I don't think he did. Oh, no. He yeah, he dropped a couple thousand. Okay, well, give me a couple grand. At least, uh, at least, uh, coinage came through for us. Is that the? You see the electoral college? No coinage. Oh, what's his name? Gas coin. Gas coin. Oh, That's the it. gas coinage. I see. Yeah. Okay. All right. I actually have so much adrenaline right now that my back hurts. You ever get that? Yeah. Well, because you're like putting in force, you don't even realize it. Oh. One thing I noticed is that for so like. I, I, I'm not going to say for some reason, because it's kind of logical, but whenever I'm like, getting really into something or I need to focus more, I move my face closer to something yeah. as if that's going to help me other than the fact that I can like see it better. It's great, but sometimes I'll be like cutting things with a knife and you, oh, you're you like really careful about your hands, but sometimes you forget that your face is actually there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's one thing like you go to start cutting and you're like, hmm. No, no, that's not a good direction. That's not a good direction at all. You know, sometimes I forget about my face. Well, you do, because your face is like your fucking video camera viewing platform. It you is. assume it like a fucking forge ball. You know, it's not really there. A it's forge just forge ball. Yeah, it's not really there. It's just there to give you a perspective. But no, it's actually uh, part of you. I made a whole. Oh, do you remember this place? Mm, kinda. From the very beginning? Yeah, I might have. I might have come down here at the beginning, or maybe this is where I am. Oh, I don't know. Uh, the Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps out lost master, our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Oh, that sounds terrifying, or <laughs> like really uncomfortable. My head, man! I can't stop shuddering. It's just vibrating. That hurt. I kind of hurt my head. Yeah, well, there you go. Imagine how terrifying. Workshop tool. Oh, I got that blood gem workshop tool. Yeah, so I actually couldn't do any. I actually couldn't do any blood gem work until then. Wow, it's crazy the things they don't even really introduce you to them. Yeah, you're expected to just figure out a lot of stuff in this game, and that's um, that's what puts you in the character's like footsteps. This game is. I missed a joke in the last session as well. 
we were saying that Arkham Knight is like hand holdy and Bloodborne is like push you out of the nest. Hopefully you can fly. Yeah, I've missed an opportunity. Fucking Bloodborne has pushed you out of the out of the nest. Hopefully you can fly. While his uh, Arkham Knight is hold X to fly. <laughs> yeah, hold X to fly indefinitely. So this is the Cathedral Ward. It is pretty cool. This is a place that you can remember. I was telling you, you can how you can tell various people about your about about uh, sanctuaries. Oh yeah, this is one of them. Okay, so is that one of your people? This, I haven't beat the game yet, so I actually don't know if this is a nice guy or a, or a good guy. You tell me. Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely, not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going by it. Screams of women. Fight. I did not realize how long this was going to go on for. <laughs> I actually. None of them's too uncommon now. I don't know either. He just seems like a humble servant, but. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here in chapel. Okay, so he's just he's kind of your guide. The incense Seems like he's on your side. He does. The word. Tell him to come on over. It's just so like the way he does it, <laughs> and he keeps laughing about it. I he's think like, he's just oh, decrepit. Oh, tell, just, tell, tell your friends to come by. I promise I won't touch them. Well, I think he knows that like he's gonna live alone in this crypt forever if he wants to stay alive. That's so a good like, point, yeah. you're his only. You know, he's living vicariously through this like warrior chick. Right, carry us near our watch while the whole world dies. And the hunter flies. Nice. I figured you were going to finish the actual song, but I don't remember the actual song. It's fine. Don't worry about it. He's going to make up my own. Fortification is pretty cool. Uh, oh, I didn't do the thing. I didn't press the... Oh, it's because I don't have any blood gems. Uh, but I can fortify my saw cleaver, or my cleaver, if you will. Uh, I can upgrade this too, but I need blood. I need the, I need the same tool. Or I need the same upgrade to do the saw cleave. I'm not saying words right, but you need the same material for both. So it's not really worth it. Yeah, place items in storage or retrieve stored items. A really cool thing about this because I was like, why the fuck would I do that? It's really just to clean up your your inventory because there's no weight of items. Um, but if you purchase more than the blood blood vials that you have. Um, I'll do it right now. See, uh, items exceeding maximum oh. are placed in storage, and then when I when I resurrect, the, I'll get I'll I'll it'll actually um, replenish my vials. Is that what you use? Like, is there any leveling up? Yes, I just haven't done a lot of it yet. And you need souls for that, or yeah, you what need are they echoes, called? Echoes. Blood echoes. Blood echoes. Okay. I think they're supposed to have like magic and shit in them. Who fucking knows? This magic will make you stronger, and also imbue your weapons. You will take the souls of the dead <laughs> and force them to be slaves to make you more powerful, <laughs> and to kill others and add them to your army of undead. <laughs> I felt like that was from something that last bit. And add them to your army of the undead. The undead will rise. Rise, rise again. I think that was just my version of 30s radio. No mercy for women. All right, that's brutal. Okay, next time on Bros Play, uh, Mercy for Women. Mercy for Women, I guess. 